In the previous video, we saw count vectorization, which is one of the most simple ways of doing vectorization. Today, we will study about how we can do vectorization using n-grams. So let's begin. n-grams also creates a document term matrix, like we had seen in the case of count vectorization, where documents are the rows, that is individual sentences, and columns represented the unique words present in the entire corpus of those documents. So here, cells still represent the count, similar to count vectorization, but instead of columns being the individual words, unique words that are present in the corpus, here the columns will represent all the columns, ad columns of adjacent words of length n. So for example, if this is our given document or sentence, and if we are using bigram, so bigram here in this case n will be 2 because it's a bigram, then the columns will represent we have to take adjacent words two at a time. So I am this is one bigram and then am studying is another. and then studying NLP is another one. And these are all unique among themselves. So these are the three columns. We are just looking at bigram, not unigram plus bigram. Similarly, for trigram, n will be three, so we will be looking at three adjacent words at a time, all such combinations which are unique. So one column would be I am studying and the second would be from here to here, I am studying NLP. Similarly for four gram, we will take four adjacent words at a time, but this sentence has just four words, so it will be just I am studying NLP. So this is the concept of uh, n-gram. So let's begin in the notebook. So it will be very similar to what we had seen in the case of count vectorization. Here also we will be using count vectorizer only, but uh, there will be some minor differences. So this is the exact same notebook I had copied from the previous video. So this reading the raw text part will be same. So let's run it. So this is the raw text and we have labeled it uh, the labels as label column which will contain either ham or spam and this second column name msg will contain the actual messages and here we have not done cleaning so let's define a cleaning function. So here there will be a minor change in the cleaning function. So in the previous video we were passing this cleaning function as a analyzer to this count vectorizer. But here, uh, this needs uh, the complete sentence because it will, depending on what gram we are selecting, depending on this n, it will be picking up itself uh, what are all such unique combinations of, for example, trigram, then it will pick all those trigrams from a given sentence. So here, additionally, we will remove the punctuation, then we will combine it and then we will split it into words and then get rid of stop words. But after getting rid of the stop words, we will join all these and place a space between the words. So let's join it. And now that's the only change that we made to clean function. Now here we will explicitly apply the cleaning function to the second column and then pass the clean text to our count vectorizer. So here let's create a new column, call it msg clean and then we will do the cleaning on this second column which is msg. And let's 
print the first five rows of this. So we see that uh, now this third column is also a sentence instead of a list of tokens and it's clean version of this second column where we are free of punctuation like here you can see this comma is gone similarly here triple dot it's gone here and similarly here so it's free from and here until is gone so stop words are also removed so this is the clean text but it's a sentence now and now we will be passing this to the this clean sentence to the count vectorizer so this was the sample corpus let's try this also so here we will need to pass one additional parameter and that will be n-gram range so if we don't pass anything let's first run it so it will be just uh, default is 1 so it will be column of one words only so let's try your other combinations so if we pass n-gram range 1 comma 2 then it will look for all 1 grams and all bigrams if we pass 1 comma 3 it will look for all unigrams bigrams and trigrams so let's we had already seen unigram in the last video which was count vectorization case the default case and now let's try on bigrams so here again we will do let's this time try fit transform so we don't need to call this fit and transform separately and let's run it so we see that it has connected all the bigrams so another sentence document is is another is here is sentence sentence is third document this is so these are all bigrams and its uh, shape is three rows three rows corresponding to these three documents and there are eight unique uh, bigrams corresponding to adjacent words so this is should be there so this is is here similarly look for uh, all the other combinations of adjacent bigrams and it will be present here if it's unique and then uh, now let's uh, we will not need to pass this here so we will use now let's uh, try this uh, by and trigram both so we see that here we have bigrams and trigrams but we don't have sing single words because we are starting from two so this same thing we can uh, do here in our example on sample data we will just look for bigrams and we call it cv1 and here we will call msg clean and we don't need to run this let's straight away uh, run on this sample data so so now let's run it it has 10 cross 126 and then let's convert it to data frame and print it so we see that all the bigrams are there each has two words winner as and this one so the first sentence if we look it has world la so let's verify it so you can see here is a bigram word la similarly other bigrams would also be present but since we have 126 columns we cannot see the entire bigrams so uh, this is how it's different from uh, count vectorization so in the next video we will see another vectorization technique called tfidf so see you in the next video thank you